Update 43 just got released today, and as usual, we will speed through the update notes so you know everything about all the new stuff that's been added to the game, as well as all the balance changes. Going from the top down, the new boss rush event is finally here, where you take on and do as much damage as possible to bosses as a team, and a new code redemption system has been added to the game. The long-awaited jetpack hero Rosalia is also here, and hidden in the patch notes describing her is another code. There's a new map called Tinkerton made just for the new hero, and there's also two new quests added to the game. And there's also some new cool trophy store items, including the craziest bad skin we've ever seen. The map editor has gotten some big changes. You can now create areas of the track in which moabs or balloons get invulnerable, get increased speed, or even grow larger in size. Also, your game is no longer capped at 60 frames per second by default, but if you want to re-enable this, you can do so in the settings. As for general bug fixes, there really wasn't anything major, but a lot of smaller glitches has been fixed. As for tower and hero specific fixes, it was pretty much the same. The most interesting one is the one at the bottom here. What the heck is a hypersonic blink teleport attack? What are these guys smoking? Now onto the balance changes. The Dart Monkey got the Juggernaut buffed with some extra knockback and the Super Monkey Fan Club got a pierce reduction. The Boomerang Monkey got its base price reduced, and the Moab Domination got a big increase in peers, and the Glaive Lord's attack can now bounce back to the same target. The Bomb Shooter's top path got an increase in overall damage, while its bottom cross path moved some damage from Ceramic Bonus Damage to Frag Damage, and the Bomb Blitz got a nice damage increase as well. The Tag Shooter got a base price reduction as well, but a price increase for the first two upgrades of the bottom path. The middle path tier 4 got double the damage but half the pierce, and the tier 5 also got a pierce reduction but no damage increase. The Glue Gunner's top path can now have its puddles left on the ground for one round when using the bottom cross path. And the tier 5 top path also got a pierce reduction. As for the middle path, we got a pierce reduction and Glue Storm got its duration reduced and now slows down balloons a lot less. The bottom path also got a price increase. The Sniper Monkey got some damage increases for some of the lower tier cross paths, and the Cripple Moab can now damage towers around the main target without the Shrapnel cross path, but I'm pretty sure this is damage only. For the debuff to apply to secondary targets, you still need the Shrapnel cross path. The Energizer Submarine now gets bonus damage to leads with the middle cross path, and it also got a price reduction. The Submarine Paragon's buff to heroes got increased as well, as this was a very underused part of the tower that even acted as a nerf for some heroes like Adora. The Buccaneer got a price reduction too, but also some price increases for other upgrades. Also, the Boat Paragon now needs more XP to unlock. The Ace now drops pineapples a little bit faster, and the Flying Fortress got double the damage for its radial darts. The Ace Paragon got a lot of changes in how it deals damage. The Seeking Attacks got doubled and got more damage, while the Non-Seeking Attacks got reduced in number and damage, and the Frontal Gun got reduced damage as well. Overall, they say that the power of the Paragon should remain about the same, but more of its damage will come from the Seeking Attacks instead, reducing the need for Micro. The Heli Pilot got a lot of changes for the bottom path to make it stronger without needing buffs such as Geraldo's Pickle to increase its damage. The Mortar Monkey got a price increase for the middle path, and the bottom path tier 5 now gets more damage and pierce with the top cross path. The Wizard Monkey got a base price reduction, but also some price increases for later tiers, and the middle cross path got some damage numbers switched around, and just like the Ace Paragon, the Wizard Paragon now requires even more XP to unlock. The Super Monkey got its projectile speed reduced, but the middle path range upgrades gets that speed back. The anti balloon got a price reduction by 10k, and the Legend of the Night now has a hard cap on the number of uses per round for its passive black hole ability. The Ninja Monkey got a base price reduction, and several attacks are now a little bit faster. Other than that, there was also a lot of price changes. The Druid of the Jungle now generates one life per ability usage and no longer one life per round, and the same thing goes for the Spirit of the Forest. No more automatic life generation. As for the Heart of Vengeance, the maximum attack rate bonus was cut in half. The Banana Farm got its Monkey Wall Street price increased, but it also generates more lives per round and also has a larger radius for picking up other items. 
The spike factor is on increase in the cooldown for the tier 4 ability, but there is now less variation on how long the spikes last on the ground. Speaking of how long they last, the bottom cross path will now cause spikes from the spike storms to last 100% longer instead of 50% longer, and we also saw some price changes. The village's primary expertise upgrade now has its attack bounce longer distances and the Monkeyopolis base cash amount got reduced by $250. The Engineer is another tower that saw its base cost reduced, and the sentries that the top path places down will now spawn closer to the track, reducing the amount of RNG involved. The tier 5 sentry champion, I mean sentry champagne, got a damage increase and the overclock foam got a pierce increase and there was also some price changes. And last but not least we have the regular 45 page document describing the recent changes made to the beast handler that I never really bother reading. As for heroes, Quincy's rapid shot ability no longer gains duration per level but has set values instead. Gwen's level 4 heated up, minimum delay got reduced and the level 17 lead bonus got doubled. Oben at level 8 now gives camo detection to all druids in his range despite the fact that he can't see camo himself. Benjamin swapped levels for the cybersecurity that gives 5 lives per round and skimming that earns $1 per balloon spawned, so basically his income got nerfed a bit for the early game. Brickell's Megamind got a reduced cooldown and Etienne got faster projectile speed, while Sai got his faster popping and purple popping levels switched around. Geraldo saw a lot of changes. The action figure price got reduced. The cape item now restocks slower, but the stock was increased from 2 to 3. The blade trap max stock also went from 3 to 4, and the fertilizer now gives less cash bonus, but it also got its stock doubled and replenishes faster and now works on all banana farms. The level 13 shooty turret V2 got a damage reduction and the Gary fire for level 8 now only lasts 5 rounds instead of 10, but the level 16 fire still lasts for 10 rounds. The Jar of Pickles no longer gets any fortified damage for level 11 and for level 16 the bonus got reduced from 2 to 1. Lastly, Corvus got some changes for several of his spells ranging from damage, pierce, cooldown and mana cost. I'm personally not very interested in co-op, so I have no idea what the heck this means, but here are some changes to the relics. As for bosses, Blunarius got the tier 4 and tier 5 elite bleed bloons changed to have a variety of bloon spawn. Dread Bloon got normal tier 4 and 5 rock bloon HP increased by a lot, and Face got the elite shielded speed bonus reduced for each tier. And that's it. I'm really excited to sit down and try some of this new exciting stuff out, despite the fact that I am really tired, I haven't slept a lot, maybe noticed on my voice throughout the video, but I'm still gonna sit down all day and play through all of this. Let me know what you think is the best part of the update in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.